Got a nice optimization problem for you here. I have this rectangle bounded by the x and y axes and this line y equals minus 2x plus 100. And what I want to do is I want to maximize the area of that rectangle. All right. And you know that optimization problems, they have to give you a constraint and the thing they want to maximize or minimize. In this case, the constraint is this line, y equals minus 2x plus 100. It's the thing with the number in it. And the thing I want to maximize is this rectangle. Well, what's the area of this rectangle? The area of a rectangle is length times width. What's the length and the width? Well, I don't really know. All I know is it's x in this direction and y in that direction. So the thing that I want to maximize, the thing that I want to take the derivative of, is x times y. That's the area of the rectangle. This is the thing I want to maximize. This is the thing I want to take the derivative of. But it's in terms of two variables. And whenever you're doing an optimization problem with a constraint, with another equation, you solve for one of those variables and plug it in. And look at that. This one's already solved for us. We already know what y equals. y equals minus 2x plus 100. So I'm just going to plug that y in for this y. So now I have that the area equals x times y, but we know y equals minus 2x plus 100. And you should always get in the habit of simplifying this thing before you take the derivative. So if I distribute this x through, that would be minus 2x squared plus 100 times x. And now my area is expressed solely in terms of x. This is the thing I want to maximize. This is the thing I want to take the derivative of. So I'm going to take the derivative and set it equal to 0. The derivative of minus 2x squared, I think that's minus 4x. The derivative of 100x is 100. And now I solve. Add 4x to both sides. I'll have 4x equals 100. And divide by 4. 100 divided by 4 is 25. That's x. Well, I know that the width of this rectangle is 25. If I want to know y, I'll plug x into the y equals equation. So y equals minus 2x, and we just found x to be 25. And that's just a simplification. Minus 2 times 25 is minus 50 plus 100. Minus 50 plus 100 is 50. So I just found that y is 50. And those are the dimensions of that rectangle that maximize this area subject to the constraint. If you actually want the max area, well, we can compute it, x times y. x is 25, y is 50. So that means that the maximum area is, oh boy, I actually have to do this. Uh, well, uh, half of that, that's gonna be, I think that's gonna be 1250. You can check me, <laughs> you can check me on that, but. Anyway, so this would be the actual maximum area. So what we do, I need to take the derivative of this, but I plug in my constraint function, simplify, take the derivative, set it equal to zero, solve, that gives me one dimension. I plug that into my constraint to get the other number. And if they actually ask for the maximum area, compute it. Okay, I hope you got something out of it. Please like and comment and subscribe. Tell me what other videos you want me to make. Have a great day.